I did a podcast recently. It might have been my last podcast. I actually can't remember. Um, where the tenant wanted to pay her rent, uh, prepay her rent for the entire year up front. Uh, this kind of relates to this. Uh, not the same tenant. We didn't accept that tenant, but a tenant that's actually already in place. I'd reached out to us about a month ago and, and asked if she could pay her rent uh up front uh her mom for some reason wants to pay the rent in in bulk uh we instructed her no that's not an option that we actually you know offer uh and, and i went over that other podcast so i'm not going to go through all the reasons why we don't actually offer that why i don't think that's a good idea for a uh, landlord you know rental property owner or for my property management company uh but so she went ahead and paid it anyways and the problem is is she has uh Four roommates, three roommates, I'm sorry, there's four of them. Uh, and this is getting to my point, is she seems to have a misunderstanding to, she feels that rent should be per room, that she's one-fourth of this household, she's only responsible for one-fourth of the expenses, and now that she prepaid the rent, now the rent goes, is getting applied to all the tenants' rents, uh, because the portal doesn't know, it just sees money and it knows money is owed and it's taking that money and it's applying. It's not sophisticated enough to know, okay, well, you're one-fourth of a four-person household and, you know, you don't have as nice of a room as another roommate, so you shouldn't be paying this amount of rent, but you should be paying that amount of rent. I mean, the portal just sees that it's, you know, debits and credits, and uh, so that's how the system is handling it. But my point to all this is, you know, is that a tenant, when they sign a lease, they're agreeing to the full financial responsibility that is on that lease. So if the rent is $1,000 a month, the tenant is agreeing for the full term of that lease. $1,000 uh, times 12 months, if it's 12 month lease, is $12,000. That tenant putting their name on that lease is saying, I am responsible for the full $12,000 that is on this lease, which is a contract. And again, as I keep saying, I'm not an attorney, not qualified to give you legal advice. Uh, that said, you know, every tenant that's signing that lease is agreeing to that full $12,000. So if there's four roommates and three of them choose not to pay their rent, then this person is still responsible for the full $12,000 amount. They all are, you know, but as far as legally, as long as, you know, that rent gets paid, the $12,000 gets paid, that satisfies that contract, that document. Uh, now, whether or not it satisfies an agreement that these roommates had or that roommate that ended up wanting to protect their credit and said, hey, there's $12,000 of debt here, uh, I'm on the hook for it. Uh, you're supposed to pay as well. Whether or not they go after those other tenants is another story. But as far as tenancy is concerned, each tenant on the lease is legally responsible unless the lease specifies, deviates from you know, the norms of what most leases would have. Um, if it basically is, is, is basically per household, as most every lease would be, each tenant is responsible for that. So again, we're not going to, it's not going to be, a landlord's not gonna be responsible for that there's four bedrooms and each tenant is paying four bedrooms. Some landlords might choose to do that, but as far as landlord tenant walk is concerned in your average lease, a lease that you might get from an association, NAR, National Association of Realtors, or any pre-made lease, typically is going to make each and every individual that signs that lease to be responsible for the full amount on that lease. And that applies to co-signers as well. So if a co-signer is basically saying, hey, I'll take over the financial responsibility if this amount doesn't get paid, if none of the four tenants pay the rent, uh, then we could go after the co-signer and say, hey, you owe us $12,000. You agree to pay us the amount of money that's on this. Even if the co-signer wants to turn around and say, well, no, I was only co-signing for, uh, for my child that's in a house, my individual, my fourth that was in the house. Um, no, in the lease, unless the lease specifies that, uh, they're responsible for the full you know, amount in its entirety. All right, as usual, happy real estate investing. Keep your questions coming. Remember, they come from the comments section. That's the easiest way for me to get the questions from you. So if you have any questions or any thoughts, any improvements to what I say, honestly, feel free to jump on there. As always, happy real estate investing.